Okay, okay, peace, 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 YouTube. What up? It's your boy BK from BKBangers.com. Today we have something new, something special. Um, shout out to the homie Concrete Zebra over at Craftmaster Productions. He put out a dope, dope, dope. Um, it's a construction kit slash drum kit. And, um,. It has a couple nice things in there, so I should have had it open, but I don't. What is called? Okay. So it's called Bag Up Volume One, and in there it has drums, it has MIDI files. It has sessions and session stems. It also has templates, which for some reason that folder is empty. But nonetheless, it's not about um, this video is just showcasing the drums. If you want to find out more about the drum kit slash construction productions YouTube. Over there, he'll showcase uh, more about it or go over to studio1tutorials.com where you can purchase the kit. But um, these are the, the drums. These are some 808s. It's kind of low. I don't know if y'all can hear that. If y'all don't got speakers or um, studio monitors, Those are the snares, these are the kicks. Those are some of the kicks. I don't wanna uh give up all the the sound so easily because some of y'all dudes be snatching things off of YouTube. You know what I mean? I don't wanna just give up give them up like that, but um nonetheless turn this on. that I named the train. Okay. Uh, oh. Forgot to plug up. Hope this don't make it crash. So, when I did the beat, I did the beat in the MPC software as a plugin within Studio One, and then I tracked out the the audio into the actual Studio One uh, door. Uh, if you guys don't know how to track out the um, track out stuff from the MPC software into Studio One. Check out my um, couple videos ahead of this one where I break it down into detail. Today I'm not gonna do that because that's not what I'm here doing. Drums. So um, these was the drums that I picked out. Yeah, that's loud. Turn it down. I use kick two. Snare nine, snare seven, and clap three. Close hi hat four, and symbol symbol. What was it? I think it's symbol oh one. Yeah, I did use it. All right, forgive me, cause. I made this beat a couple days ago and I actually started to make the video but I don't like that how that video uh, turned out 
so I redid it I didn't even go into editing mode with that video I just said I'm gonna just uh, do a brand new video so I'm gonna chop all this up but this was pretty much um, let me solo solo this so this is pretty much the beat inside of I only have one sequence okay This was a pad sound out of Nexus. Epic pads, Belize. This was a piano out of Nexus. DX Extra. the piano same piano I just played higher notes as a melody this was a pluck sound also out of Nexus I'm not even going to play myself and try to pronounce that but y'all can see it right there This was the bass, also out of Nexus. I um I use a basic sine wave out of Nexus, and then y'all might not be able to hear it because it's a low octave. But I basically uh, made some adjustments to it. Um, tab I put on uh, port mode legato and I think that was all I did and I cut off I turned on the master filter and I cut some filter cut off at 75 and I boosted the residence at 58 So let me just turn this back off. Uh, disable. Save. All right. So now the beat when when the beat was playing when the video opened up, you guys heard this the uh, the actual song or track mixed down, and it was playing. So this was the uh, the pad. So let me take off all the inserts and the effects. I basically just added reverb delay. Um, a mix tool. A pro EQ. So as you can see, when I turned on the um, the mix tool, it lowered the level some. I lowered it down by 10 dBs. I added an EQ. With the EQ, I basically cut out some of the low end. I added a shelf raised up 13.92 db some might say that's an awful lot but hey that's the sound that i was going for i also cut out what's that six six point nine dbs in the high cut 
Then I added reverb. All right, so that was the pad. And I added delay. Next was the piano. And I basically did the same thing, like mix tool, pro EQ, cut out some of the lows, cut out some of the highs, boosted up where it needed to be boosted up at, added reverb delay. And that's pretty much my, um. that's how I, when I'm getting to my technical song editing, sound designing, designing my own sounds, these are some of the tools that I use, mostly mix tool and EQ. Okay, the next was this, again the same piano but I played it in a higher octave and made a new melody same process here the only difference is that I added um, a crystallizer um, on this I used the chorus palm delay and I adjusted some settings again I did this a couple days ago so I don't remember exactly what settings I um I tweaked on this forgive me but uh yeah mix tool brought it down in volume EQ I cut out quite a lot of the low end um 331 hertz I cut out 6.9 kilohertz in the um, high cut, and then I boosted up 10.8 dBs in a high shell K at 24 dB. Next was the pluck. Take off these sound. These. So again, um, this is a preset inside of the crystallizer. I made some adjustments to tweak it to my liking and got this sound. This is it bypassed. This is with it. So this is the raw bass. Okay. And then the next one. That's with the, the mix tool. So with the EQ, the EQ I didn't do much. Oh, again, I put it into mono to have it, you know, dead center in the beat. And then I boost it up 8.9, 110, 8.6, DB. Okay. And then the next thing I added was the decapitator. Again, we all know what the decapitator does. It saturates the um, the sound so that it'll register in um, all speakers. It should register in most speakers. Laptops, um, laptops, earbuds, um, cell phones, okay? So this is the hi-hat with nothing added same process mix tool pro eq the only difference on this one is that i added an echo boy so the mix tool brought it down a couple dbs the pro eq i cut out um again hi-hats are mainly very easy to to EQ or mix down into your beat because it has no low register. Some of them do, but this one didn't. 
have as much but to play it safe we cut out um 1.9 k at a 48 uh db octave cut and, a high cut. and then okay. cut out 11.3 kilohertz the echo boy same treatment next was the kick uh, the kick got mad not take down take off this reverb uh, too much on it the kick has a lot of knot to it but to get it to fit right we took it down in volume we EQ'd some of it out and then we added a transient master from native instruments boosted the attack by 36% added a little bit of air by 22% smoothed out the attack to get that sound okay next was the snare And this is, hold up. Oh, on the kick, I also added a decapitator to add saturation. Um, and then on the snare, only difference on it, I added an echo boy. This is with the snare without any, um, treatment I added air okay. I sharpened the attack on the snare and then I added echo board lowered it down by 8 dBs I cut out 9 9 kilohertz 48 dB master. octave on a high cut gave it that vibe and then I added echo boy Sets the tone in the, and that was the, pretty much it. The mood for the how beat I, to how get I the came artist up with that vibe, I'll something that to um, you know what I mean, a vibe. That's it, raw. Drum bus, I added a side Q and a VC2A. So I'm gonna solo the band bus, take off the inserts, and play. Let me take off the mess, off the mess. I boosted up the low by 6 dBs, I cut back in the mid by 1.7 dBs. Set up the mid highs by um, 2.3. I boosted up the highs by six, and then I I turned the drive knob up by six dBs. Okay. On the VC2A. I reduced the peak by 50% and I pushed the gain um, knob up by 29%. Yeah. On the drums, I boosted up quite some in the low end, 9.4 decibels. I also boosted up the mid lows by 4.3. The mid highs, I did a lot of boosting this is with it off that 
that's with it off that's with the side Q that's what it does and then VC 2A brought that knock up and then I did mid to side okay. um EQing, cut out some of the lows. I cut out 38.197 hertz frequency range. The next thing I added was a knot, one knob by Waves. Brought up the, brought it up a lot. Just made it louder. That's why it's called one knob louder. Okay. Next thing was isotopes, um, ozone seven, oh, it's not on. Next thing after I got the mixes down, I sequenced out the beat. So this is everything in this section right here is what I had started with in the MPC. Particularly be uh, one. This is this is the arranger tool, by the way. Studio One got a cool little thing that they call the Arranger Tool. Um, should be and that's pretty much it. Like you just go go down the line, and then the cool thing about it is that I wouldn't have to copy and paste down here with the um, the events. I wouldn't have to copy and paste this. What I would do, I just select the arranger, the arrangement hook one, option, drag, and drop. That's I think it's all on a on a on a PC, but it's option on the Mac. So option and drag to wherever you want. Okay. So then, basically, after I had this this area right here, I just copied and pasted it out a couple of times, and then I've just basically cut out from what I didn't want. So in verse A, the difference is that I took out the pad and the pluck and some of the piano, the snare, and the hi-hat, the closed hi-hat, and that was the difference between hook one and verse A. The difference between verse A and verse B was that um, I brought back in the snare, I brought back in the hi hats, and I cut out more of the pluck and more of the pads. And that was pretty much it, man. I added the my tag. And I also got some some vocals on it. Um, I don't really want to play it because it's not mixed down yet. But I play it just for the sake of the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just play it out from um, from the intro into verse A, and that'll pretty much wrap up the video. If y'all like what y'all seen today, uh, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe, comment, 
share it if y'all got any thoughts on on the video any questions particular on anything that i use within studio one y'all could um just post a comment i'll get back to y'all so again salute concrete zebra for uh that dope product bag up it's a dope kit got some dope sounds um i made some minor adjustments to the sounds to my liking to my um creativity to my taste my sound um and that's pretty much it man so thank y'all again for watching it's your boy bk from bkbangers.com see y'all on the next one Peace and salutations. That mumble rap. I don't mumble rap. <laughs> but joint got a nice little vibe to it. You could definitely get off on it.
again, thank y'all for watching. It's your boy BK from BKBangers.com. See y'all on the next one. Peace.